click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Uh, I must admit it does, you know, because I watch the video. I'm like, oh, man, now, you know, this, this, and I'm comparing myself, and mm. I know it's not good, mm. you know, because there was a point in time where I was, you know, I, I had that confidence. And honestly, like, a few years back, I, I lost my hair. I, I started going bald, so I started balding, and that, like, took a toll on my confidence also, mm. you know, because I was looking externally, you know, my hair, and, you know, I felt good. And then, you know, I started, I'm starting to get used to it now. Mm. You know, I'm adjusting to it. And accepting it, it for what it is but um you know i guess yeah i have been looking externally and now how, how could you say like i mean I, you know these are things that i'm doing to try and like build my confidence you know work out and all this other stuff but what well, and i wrote down like some of these notes and these pointers mm. is like basically you're saying like the value is in me right right just knowing who i am and what i can bring to the table mm. right that's okay. what that's mainly what it is bro it's like you Yo, bro, let me ask you a question. You you have you have any family? <clears throat> yeah, I have family. Like, tell me your tell me your tell me some of your closest family members. Uh, closest family, I got uh my cousin. Uh-huh. Uh, he's he's back home in uh country called Zambia, but you know that's my cousin. I got you know I got a couple of sisters. Uh-huh. I got a couple of female cousins out here as well. Uh, you know, they live in different states, so they live in Florida. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. But you know, you, you, in, which, you are you in touch with your parents? Yeah, I'm in touch with my parents. Yeah, you have a, you have a decent relationship with them. Yeah, we're cool. You're cool. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is <clears throat> think about how they all of those people you just mentioned, right? Think about how all of them would feel feel if something happened to you. Right. If you died right now, how how you think they would feel? They'll be they'll feel horrible. They'll feel bad, right? Now, listen. Let me ask you a question. Right. Are they are they gonna feel bad because you've been giving them a whole bunch of money? No. Are they gonna feel bad because you 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 know you're not gonna be around and let them drive around in your sports car and walk around in your mansion? No, not at all. Not at all. Let me tell you why. <clears throat> let me tell you why you're so you're important to your to your parents. Just your parents alone. You are an example of proof that they can create life. Do you understand that? Right. Uh, Do you understand that, bro? Yeah, I get it. Yes, sir. So, and you and you and your parents. You you have you have sisters, right? You told me that you have siblings. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and you get that those siblings came from those siblings came from the same parents, right? Right, that's right. Right, but you're different from all the rest of your siblings, even though y'all came from the same parents, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so how is that possible? If 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 your parents have multiple children, why? How come all of y'all ain't come out the same? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's a good question. Okay. What I'm trying to get you to come around to is whether you know it or not, there is the, the you, all you have to do is look at life and make a choice. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because you, you have value for, for those people that you just mentioned. You have, you have friends. You have anybody that knows you on a personal level? Yeah, I have some friends. All right, now let me ask you same question. What would they? How would they feel if something was to happen to you right now? You probably feel the same way. They'll feel bad, you know. Right. So, what does that tell you, though? If you know that, what does that tell you? They they value me. Exactly. So, but who's not who? So, is everybody you know value you? Right. You know that for sure. Right. Every motherfucker you know, your friends, your family, your siblings, your parents, they value you. But the only person that don't know and who's not aware of their value is you. How the fuck is that possible? I'm asking.
asking you, brother. How the fuck is that possible? Mm-hmm. You know that these motherfuckers would be devastated if you got wiped off the earth right now. Mm-hmm. You're sitting there suffering from low confidence. What the fuck is the matter with you, bro? You're you're more valuable to these motherfuckers than you are to yourself. That don't make no goddamn sense, does it? Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't, man. You need you need to let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It is not how something looks. It is how you look at the thing. Mm-hmm. Facts. You understand me, bro? Facts. That's yeah. why I don't give a fuck about all these fucking, you know, uh, uh, Instagram models. Because I don't give a fuck how you look. If you don't respect me, you an ugly bitch anyway. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you understand? Why? Because I know my value. Mm-hmm. You understand? I know my value. Right. I know. I know what type of fucking uh, 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 value I bring to anybody that ever meets me. Anyone? Mm-hmm. Any one of you mother? Any one of you motherfuckers that don't like me on the internet? I still bring value to you motherfuckers. Because if I got wiped off the face of the earth right now, a good ninety percent of y'all niggas would be like, "Damn, that nigga Miles was a real nigga, though." Right. Shout out to that nigga. Right. Exactly. You understand me? And I'm not saying that because I'm feeling myself like that, but I'm saying that because I know what I bring. Right. Even that, even niggas that don't like me still will have to be like, yo, that nigga's a real nigga. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is I don't care what them other niggas think. I knew that already from the rip, bruh. Right. And, and all, the, all of the shit that I just said to you is just an example. But what I need you to do is Choose, make a choice on how you want to look at yourself because you are, you are, you are what you decide you are. You, but you have to make the choice. So you suffer, you talking about, oh, yeah, I got low confidence. It's because you're choosing that. Right. Okay. You can't, you cannot, don't choose it, bro. Choose something different. Choose to acknowledge the fact that, damn, if I was to leave, if I was to leave this earth right now, God forbid, it's people on this earth that would miss me. That value. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you got a, if you got a job, if you a bus driver, my nigga, and you was to, God forbid, leave this earth right now, it's people that's gonna be getting on the bus, be like, oh, what happened to the bus driver? Mm-hmm. And then if somebody say, oh yeah, he died the other day, it's people gonna be like, damn, I like how he drove this bus. It might seem like something small, but just a smile, just a hello, anything that brings value. So if you don't want to recognize your value, but you know that there's other people on this earth that recognize your value. How is that possible? That's crazy to me, bro. And it should be crazy to you, too. Right. Because because what happens is this this is the the trick. A lot of y'all be looking at what these chicks be saying and doing and because you're not getting the, the the responses and the fucking reactions from women that you want that's what's fucking with your confidence because you're looking for women to validate you so that you can feel good about yourself this is why i heard all these goofy niggas on on the internet talking about well how am i gonna be confident if no girl likes me or no girl says i'm good looking this is what niggas are saying nowadays You understand what I'm saying? Because they're looking outside themselves. And then when they see the things happening outside themselves, they start thinking that that's the truth. You feel what I'm saying? But we always say that the truth is inside you. You see what I'm saying? This is what the fuck that means. You know what I mean? Like, but everybody's looking outside. Okay. You see what I mean? So you got to stop looking outside for, for that shit. You see what I'm saying? And so that's, that's the thing is that you got to look inside. That's what this is always saying. So, you got to wreck because look, understand this women follow masculine men, right? So they're going to follow you. But, but first you have to recognize your value first so that they can recognize your value. They can't recognize your value if you don't recognize the value, because if you don't recognize the value, you're not, you're not actually, uh, uh, uh you know, bringing that to the forefront. You're not really putting that out there. You're not really exuding that energy. So when women see you, they're going to be like, oh, you know, whatever. And they're going to treat you as such because you're trying to fake it till you make it. You understand what I'm saying? And and the thing is, you're not being real. 
You see what I'm saying? And it's like, it don't make sense to fake it when you are the real fucking thing. That's mm-hmm. like, that's like, that's like a, a real diamond saying, yo, I should pretend to be a real diamond. Nigga, you already a real diamond. What the fuck are you talking about? You understand what I'm saying? Like now, if a cubic zirconian said, I'm going to pretend to be a real diamond, then yeah, you got to fake it till you make it because you ain't really the real shit. But you got to recognize and realize you're the real shit. So you're basically a real diamond trying to pretend to be a real diamond. But you're already a real fucking diamond. So what the fuck? You you understand what I'm saying? This is what we're saying. But you got to recognize it. You see what I mean? So that's what it is, bro. All right. That's what it is, my brother. So think about think about that. Stop stop listening to any anytime you hear a nigga say you got to get this this or that that and all this other bullshit outside of you with status and money and cars and apartments and jewelry, any type of shit in order for you to get women, that nigga don't know what the fuck he talking about. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So it's that time again where I have my holiday sale. The bad boy membership holiday sale is going on from December 23rd up until January 1st, 2021. All right. So in this holiday sale, all you need to do is go to badboymembership.com. Join the bad boy membership, and then you're going to get a whole bunch of free stuff. All right. Check this out. So guys, this is what you're going to get for free when you join the bad boy membership on the holiday sale. So you're going to get the ultimate bad boy package for free. So the ultimate bad boy package is a lot of my products rolled into one. So what you're going to get is you're going to get the bad boys guide to dating. You're also going to get how to have sex with two women a day ebook for free. You're also going to get manhood in the game seminar for free. You're going to also get the magnificent 10 crucial dating tips for men for free. You're also going to get banned from YouTube dating advice mixtape for men for free. You're also going to get how to pick up and date multiple women seminar for free you're also going to get how to pick up and date multiple women seminar audio version for free and then you're also going to get these bonuses you're going to get the simple way to talk to women the abundance mindset how you must think and act to date multiple women successfully you're also going to get the conversation booster you're going to get the confidence booster you're going to get what every man should know about sex dating and relationships you're also going to get the secret woman code seven things women do to deceive and play games with you you're also going to get step up your dating game audio seminar you're also going to get stop being nice and friendly how to quit being the nice guy that gets stuck in the friend zone and you're also going to get man up principles every man should live by to be successful in love and in life right so all of this is in the ultimate bad boy package so you're getting all this for free just by joining the bad boy membership on the holiday sale and what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw in some more bonuses so what you'll also get for free is my ebook 60 second game i'm going to throw that in for free and you're also going to get the game kings documentary for free all right so you're going to get all of this stuff for free just by joining the bad boy membership on the holiday sale All right, guys, so remember, you have from December 23rd to January 1st to join the Bad Boy membership and take advantage of this sale. So all you need to do is click the link below or go straight to badboymembership.com. Join the Bad Boy membership and you're going to get all of this free stuff. All right, so I'll let you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.